Z Chronicle. Zach Posen's unprecedented, if not turbulent, right to the top of the fashion industry. Zach joins us this morning along with House of Z director and City Lines supervising producer, our very own Sandy Chronopoulos. Guys, congratulations! <laughs> A dream team. This is a brilliant film. It was sold out. 700 seats sold out last night. Incredible. Huge Tribeca Amazing. opening in New York. Rave reviews across the board. That's got to feel amazing for this passion project and labor of love. Absolutely. Yeah. It was incredible. It's been three and a half years since we started. Since we were here. Yeah, yeah. since we were here in Toronto, which is where the film began. Um, so it was so amazing. It's it's cool to hear the audience reaction to the film as well. Let's talk about that. So it was three years ago as part of Suzanne Rogers Presents. So we're going to give a shout out to her because she's always mixing fashion and philanthropy. That's How right. did that serve as the moment for you to come together and say, you know what, we have a documentary film here? Well, mm -hmm. Sandy did a final interview here in Canada uh, right after I filmed this show. Yeah. And I was exhausted and I was emotional. And she asked a few questions. And at that point, I think that was the seed for the start of building out a whole mm -hmm. real story. That and, and something she'd heard my sister say off camera. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because- but I'm sure she wished she'd been on camera. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Listen, there's amazing raw, honest looks at you, your family. Uh, you know, the rise, the fall, and then rise again. Everybody wants to see a comeback story. And you are so honest in this. How did you get Zach to open up the way he did? Good question. I mean, it took time and, and trust. It didn't happen overnight. You know, when I went in to go film with him, I was um, a fly on the wall. And so we didn't really talk that much in the beginning. And I think, you know, the questions or the conversation went from talking about the collection to life and, and it went from there. The movie itself was like a healing process mm -hmm. from a family perspective. I know this is not necessarily morning talk. No, it is. <laughs> we want to start the day fresh, but it's real. All families go, um, you know, through a journey. Whether you work with them, whether you're in the world of high fashion, mm -hmm. you know, family, relationship, friendships, careers, take challenges. It's how you learn and grow from them. And I want this to be a film that a lot of young creators see and see what it takes, the hard work. Yep. It's about being a long distance runner. Uh, you know, I'm so proud of Sandy. You know, I trusted myself. I had this instinct. I said at one point, like, let's make a film. Uh, I had to give up Final Cut, which, you know, was scary. I didn't totally know what that control. meant, but now I do. Yeah. <laughs> and there's so many, it's so You're rich. not allowed in the <laughs> editing room. You're not allowed it's in the so editing room, exactly. <laughs> Sam, what a gold mine between the pictures, the videos chronicling these moments that help tell the story. Yeah, amazing. You must have been like, these are all hidden treasures. You have so much amazing video from your childhood that led up to who you are today. Just the VHS tapes from his childhood. I mean, his father filmed everything. You know, and, and, and you it was choose. beautiful. Yeah, and we had to choose. The hardest part was choosing what actually made it in the film, because yeah. there was 300 plus hours of footage and 18 interviews with Zach over over three years, and uh, it was a lot. But I imagine we, your family is very happy, and that it was healing for them to watch this too. I think so. You know, I think they, my mother and sister, particularly, you know in all honesty, didn't choose to be public figures. So I think it's still that moment of reflection. You know, they like it very much. They're really proud of Sandy. Yeah. Uh, you know, for me and my company and family, uh, you know, this is like a Canadian national story. Mm -hmm. This is homegrown talent. This is her first feature documentary film. I love the love because we're so proud uh, of her It's too. really exciting and cool. I said you did as beautiful a job artistically with this film and telling Zach's stories as you do with your your gowns and there's so many times in both of your careers there's so much pressure where you can give up and it's the easier thing to do but what a reward when you push through you bet. and dig yourself back up and all the naysayers Watch the movie yeah, exactly. because you can be that comeback kid in your career, yes. right? It's so inspiring. Thank you both, your dream team. Thank you. Make sure you check it out. House of Z did premiere it last night, but there is another chance to screen it this afternoon at 1.45 at the TIFF Lightbox as part of Hot Docs. For more information to see what everybody's buzzing about, easy for me to say about, breakfasttelevision.ca. We couldn't be more proud of you, Sandy, and you, Zach. Thank you so much. Right now, over to Kev.